I'm Ian, and welcome to Groom Family Farm. And we're back now from my little break I took from YouTube. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. But now that I'm back, I'm going to be filming today, working on the David Brown 995. Dad's just taking the front wheel off now since we're w doing work on the front end of the tractor. So let's get into today's video. Figure out how it goes back together from this side because it's been so long since took this apart. Now dad took the front tire off and now we have the hub here which we got to take apart and look inside to see how the front seals and bearings go back in since it's been so long like he said. But this side is messed up too. I don't know what happened with this rig. So the front hub comes off here, the cover for it, and then inside are the guts inside the bearing where the two seals and the two bearings are placed inside. Now the cover's off, and inside we have the nut on the end of the hub, of the bearing. And it's all full of grease and you can't really see much in there. But we have to take that apart to see where the seals go back into the bearing. Not a very good key. No, it's not. <clears throat> oh. So here we're taking off the front hub. Hub. For David Brown 995. So then after the knot comes out, which we'll place aside, comes out. I'm trying to figure it out. Which is two flat washers. That washer, which wasn't on the other side. The big washer. And then next comes out the bearing. The bearing. Well, Understand this. We'll place that aside too. And then the next thing that comes out, there's the seal that's still on there on the back. Should bury. That's the Is that? <coughs> That's not a bearing. What is that? <coughs> See it? If you focus in the camera, you might be able to see the line right over there. There's a little ridge right here. I should want to go across. Oh. So that piece there goes on first onto the I don't front. understand why that is oh. in there. It's the purpose, it wasn't. Oh man. I don't know who rebuilt this. Down in there, there's a seal there. 
which fits right in. And then the bearings slide inside. Here we have the pump, not the pump, the hub uh, placed under the front axle. Um, we got all the bearings in and seals all the way they should be. And there's the grease coming out. And now dad's greasing it. And there we have the grease coming out of it. So now we have to get a gasket, put the gasket on and put the cover on, put the wheel back on and this tractor will be ready to go. We really have to get this tractor ready to go because this will be the tractor that we make our hay with. And we have to get this out of here so we can fix the new to us 273 that we got. And we bought tires for it last week. Yeah, and I'll show you them outside right now. I show you the new tires. I'm gonna show you why we bought new tires. Cause these ones, Here's the well, tires that are on it now, as you can see, quite a bit of thread on them. But they have all these cracks. There's a slice there. And on the other one on the other side, I'll show. Here somewhere, there is a blowout on it right there. And they're all weather cracked and there's tons of slices in them. So we got exactly new tires. brand new, but they're close to brand new. And they're new to us. We bought them second hand, but they were used very little. So here are the tires. 16.9 by 30 tires. Agristar is the brand. Uh, Calaxi. It's the same size that are on the tractor, of course. They come with tubes inside, and they are loaded with calcium chloride inside the tubes. They're a 14-ply tire, so they're pretty thick, and I don't think we'll have any problems with them being not thick enough for when we do, do a little bit of stuff in the woods with it, but we'll probably use the Ford for that mostly. But we got these tires, and we have to throw these on the rims that are on them. Here, I figured I'd show you the new steering wheel that we put on it and seat. If you remember, if you've been along with the channel for a while, you'll remember that uh, last year, last year when we planted and harvested our potatoes with this tractor, Dad's hands were all cut up because all along here the steering wheel was all split and cracked, and it was all like lumpy and sharp. So whenever you go to slide your hand along the wheel, you'd cut it. So you'd have to keep it like this and drive it like that. But every once in a while, your hand would slip down and you'd end up cutting your or hand on it. It had a metal seat, but it had a crack along the top here. And that one's much more comfortable, I will say, than the old metal one that was on there before. Okay, guys. I'm putting the 995 back together. There was a washer on here. Why? I'm not sure. David Brown doesn't show it. Then this goes on. Come sa. Now, you saw us putting in the seal, the bearing, and then the bearing in front. This all slides on which goes just like that so then you have your washer which is like this right and you're gonna clean them up a little bit and then that washer and these this washer Then, of course, you're not. Now, so that is the front hub assembly on a 995. It's not easy to get parts for these. We got ours from Ford Equipment. Amherst. Now, well, I messed up there. I can't see the key. I should have cleaned it out. It's on my side. Okay, here. That was my problem. Bad. So, never over tighten this nut. Mm -hmm. 
Merci. We gotta pack that with grease. So here we go. Grease gun. Let's see how this is gonna work. Of course the grease gun was on the other side of the tractor. Like everything else in life. You take grease. So we cleaned it all up, getting dark. The ceilings on here. We're not gonna fill it right up with grease today. Cause we're gonna let the ceiling dry. So, friends all in condition. You thought we were going to have to put new bearings in. But, the thing was, was the seals. They were gone. So we had to clean everything out, clean the bearings, make sure they were good. We had to weld a stopper on the other side. Now the old girl, she's gotta help us out. She's gotta help us make hay. Probably take the bucket off and that. Hopefully get the tires on. And we'll see. Because it rained today. As you can see, the 995 is up on its own wheels now. And no wiggle. Before, you'd be driving in second or third gear, and it would be just a wobbling back and forth. And whenever you go to turn, the wheels would turn a ton. They could be angle with you. But what we did to this tractor that we had the front, what we did to this tractor that we had the front end apart, we slid in right here, the front axle, since it was out too far, and it was out to about the outside here of the back wheel, since the front end was extended too far. And so, it was starting to bend a bit, and also this here steering rod that goes from the other side that hooks to the power steering, that was starting to bend as well. So we slid that in, and now it's right about in the middle of the tread of the tire. Also, underneath, well not underneath, also we added, um, over here we did some work, I didn't film this, uh, this was a while ago, we welded a washer, as you can see there, on here, on one of the metal rods that goes through the transmission, because here, when you would depress the clutch down, it would smack on that there so it wouldn't depress all the way so you'd have to really force it past which was kind of not great on engineering for david brown and sort of dangerous too so we fixed that but now the brakes need a little bit of adjustment um the oil and filter could use changed along with the fuel filters which we bought for that and the rear tires i already showed you them um this plug here for in the winter time, that doesn't work, that could be fixed. And the tractor could be wired, since the only wiring that's on it is the ignition to the starter. 
uh, the lights don't work in any of that. We could put a grill in it too. So there's lots of little things to do yet. And right here, where the throttle hooks on there, that's loose. And if you're revving the tractor, sometimes when you go to rev it up, sometimes that'll pop off. But other than that, the tractor works. Well, the front end works good now, and it's just those small things. And then it'll be a good tractor that every, that'll have everything working on it. That'll be the end of the video, guys. We got the David Brown out, as you can see. We got the front end all back together, sitting on its own wheels outside. Dad took it for a little run down the driveway too. But now we got this cleaned out and we gotta get some of our hay equipment in here and do some work on that so we can make our hay soon. But that's the end of the video and we'll see you in the next one.